We have natural solutions that protect coastlines from storm surge, provide food for communities, and remove vast amounts of carbon dioxide from the air. Mangrove forests, seagrass beds, and tidal salt marshes. These coastal ecosystems remove carbon from the atmosphere, storing it in plants and sediment, where it is known as blue carbon. These are some of the most carbon-rich ecosystems on Earth. But when they are degraded or destroyed, their carbon stores are released as carbon dioxide and contribute to global climate change. Blue carbon systems are the world's fastest disappearing ecosystems. The greatest of this loss has happened in Asia. We have turned marshes into shrimp ponds. We have cleared mangrove forests for coastal development. Even worse, the destruction has removed the natural barrier communities have against tropical storms and tsunamis. If we hadn't destroyed so much mangroves in the Philippines before Typhoon Ayan, there would have been much less damage and more people would have been alive today. Currently, the Philippines holds 271,000 hectares of mangroves, just half of what once stood along this coast. But there is hope. Of the 18,000 hectares lost in the last two decades, it's estimated that 87% is immediately restorable. If this was done, we could capture carbon equivalent to around 70 million barrels of oil. Conservation International is seeking support to create a mangrove blue carbon pilot in the Philippines. Our research has defined the Verde Island Passage as an ideal site as the mangroves are healthy and well protected with above average carbon stocks. Focus on long-term conservation and management, the pilot will monetize these ecosystems through selling these carbon credits on the international carbon market, providing a compelling model for other initiatives. We need this pilot to unlock mangrove blue carbon as an impact financing opportunity that benefits vulnerable coastal communities and supports natural solutions to the climate crisis. Mm -hmm.